<laughs> Welcome to the No, I'm John Reisinger. And I'm Adam Ellis. It's been a rough week for the Oculus Rift. A Texas jury decided yesterday that the virtual reality headset maker and its parent company, Facebook, owe game publisher ZeniMax $500 million because Oculus founder Palmer Lucky violated a non-disclosure agreement. And what's more, ZeniMax now says it might try to block sales of the Rift, according to Polygon. Ouch. That sucks. But first, let's summarize what happened in the court case, and then we'll talk about what this could mean for the Oculus Rift going forward. So this fight has gone on for more than two years and has gotten extremely nasty between all sides involved. It's been closely watched because it involves some of the biggest names in tech who are battling over the rights to a technology that could be the next big thing. So back in 2014, ZeniMax sued Oculus and Facebook, claiming that the Rift headset was built based on stolen trade secrets. Why was Facebook involved? Because the social networking giant acquired Oculus for $2 billion earlier that year. The purchase represented a big bet by Facebook on the potential of virtual reality. That's still a lot of money. It's a lot, yeah. That's still a lot like, of money. Like, Lucky's rolling in it. Yeah. Uh, so, but ZeniMax cried shenanigans on the whole thing, and the game publisher alleged that Lucky was joined by six ex-ZeniMax employees to build the Rift based on ZeniMax's research and code. And ZeniMax argued that the idea for the Oculus was actually stolen from its employee, John Carmack, the founder of id Software, who was working for ZeniMax at the time. ZeniMax sought up to six billion in damages in its lawsuit, claiming that Oculus had infringed on its copyrights and that Lucky violated a non-disclosure agreement that he'd signed with ZeniMax. What's more, ZeniMax said Lucky didn't have the ability to build the hardware himself and that he needed Carmack's help. Is this gonna be another social network movie? Because this feels like social <laughs> network too, and Facebook's involved. Um, during testimony, according to Vanity Fair, ZeniMax argued that Carmack's hire made breakthrough modifications to the Rift prototype based upon years of prior research at ZeniMax. Carmack, who went on to become chief technical officer for Oculus, denied those charges. Lucky himself testified that the trial that, at the trial that he didn't take confidential code and Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg himself took the stand to defend Lucky. During closing comments, ZeniMax's attorney called Oculus' actions a theft and said that ZeniMax was owed compensation and punitive damages. But Oculus's attorney said that ZeniMax's case was driven by embarrassment and, not, and jealousy and not the facts. In the end, a jury decided that Oculus was not guilty of stealing trade secrets to create the Rift headset, but that Lucky had violated his non-disclosure agreement. The jury also ruled against Oculus on charges related to false designation and copyright infringement. So, what happens now? Well, according to the ruling, Oculus must pay $200 million for the NDA violation and another $50 million for copyright infringement. Both Oculus and Lucky were ordered to pay $50 million for false designation, while Oculus co-founder Brendan Arib was ordered to pay $150 million for false designation. Holy shit. There's a lot of zeros being thrown around this whole thing. Um, Oculus, though, has said it will appeal and try to spin the ruling as a win. <laughs> how? <laughs> I want to know how. The heart of this case was about whether Oculus stole ZeniMax's trade secrets, and the jury found decisively in our favor. An Oculus spokesperson told Polygon, We're obviously disappointed by a few other aspects of today's verdict, but we are undeterred. Oculus products are built with Oculus technology. Not surprisingly, ZeniMax felt differently. <laughs> ZeniMax folks told Polygon that it may now seek an injunction to stop the sales of the Oculus Rift headsets. We will consider what further steps we need to take to ensure there will be no ongoing use of our misappropriated technology. A ZeniMax spokesperson said, including by seeking an injunction to restrain Oculus and Facebook from their ongoing use of computer code that the jury found infringed ZeniMax's copyrights. That phrase, ongoing use of computer code, could be an important one going forward. In its ruling, the jury also found that Carmack took thousands of files on a USB storage device, which contains ZeniMax VR technology when he left the company, according to Polygon. And it's possible that ZeniMax might use that part of the ruling to prevent the Rift from being sold. While we regret we had to litigate in order to vindicate our rights, it was necessary to take a stand against companies that engage in illegal activities and their desire to get control of a new, valuable technology, a ZeniMax spokesperson told Polygon. An injunction against the Rift might be a much bigger deal than the $500 million verdict. After all, Facebook is worth a lot. $383 billion. Jesus. So 500 million is kind of a drop in the bucket, but if ZeniMax manages to stop the rip drop. from being sold, that's a much bigger deal and a much bigger drop. 
All of this comes as Oculus has been going through some challenges as a company. Arib stepped down as CEO a few months ago as part of an executive shakeup, and one of Oculus's engineers was arrested last year after allegedly soliciting sex from an underage girl. What the fuck? And Lucky himself has shied away from the spotlight after reports last year linked him to an alt-right group that supported Donald Trump. So yeah, a $500 million verdict wasn't what Oculus needed right now. The company is playing up the jury's ruling that the rift wasn't based on stolen technology. But on the other hand, the jury clearly decided that Oculus's hands weren't completely clean either. Uh, time will probably tell what kind of impact the case will ultimately have on the rift. What do you think of the ruling in the Oculus Rift slash ZeniMax case? Did the jury get it right? Let us know in the comments. And for all of your Oculus Rift and VR news, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the No. Okay. Ready? And go. Are we ready? That was actual. Okay, cool. Welcome, Welcome to the No. To the no. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the No. I'm, I'm John, John Reisinger. <laughs> All right, let's do this for real.